SpaceX Starship has a lot more purposes and discipline than it can do. Apart from its known single launch to Mars, it could have a double tethered launch so that it can create artificial gravity. Apart from that, Elon Musk has revealed a lot about what to do with the stainless steel spacecraft, including that of making its body a telescope. Stay tuned to find out. The Starship has already had a successful landing with the SN15 prototype, and it would be the same one that would be put atop the Super Heavy booster for its full stack flight. What this means is that it would go further onto future missions, especially for its ultimate goal of heading to Mars, which it was built for. SpaceX Starship tethered to create artificial gravity. CEO Elon Musk says that the company is already thinking about the many potential ways its next generation Starship launch vehicle could be used in space. Already, ideas publicly touted by the SpaceX CEO range from using cargo starships to clean up space debris with its mouth-like payload bay to a stripped-down, expendable variant of the rocket, to rapidly send massive spacecraft throughout the solar system. Now, Musk says that SpaceX has also considered tethering starships together in space to create a form of artificial gravity for passengers on multi-month journeys between planets, as well as the possibility of turning entire starships into all-in-one orbital observatories a magnitude more powerful than Hubble. Among fan communities, the tethered gravity concept has been circulating ever since SpaceX first announced Starship in 2016, loosely researched by NASA and other institutions for decades. No real experimental efforts, save the single halting test during a 1960s Gemini mission, have ever been pursued. For Starship, orbital refueling could easily allow SpaceX to cut crewed Earth-Mars transit time to 100 days or less, subjecting astronauts to significantly less time in microgravity than those that crew the International Space Station ISS. The value proposition of artificial gravity on three-month cruises is likely substantially less clear-cut, given the far-reaching complexity and modifications required to make such a system functional and make starships compatible. In the recent series of tweets that the SpaceX CEO answered, Musk addressed a lot of insightful and interesting topics, which gives more information about the stainless steel spacecraft. The CEO answered a query by a fan who asked about the possibility of tethering another starship to a launch to create artificial gravity. Here Musk responded, yes, suggesting that it might be a plan of the company, and it might happen soon when the Starship is clear for its missions after the series of tests. What the tethered spacecraft and launch would contribute is to create an artificial gravity that would help in stabilizing the Starship en route to Mars, making way for a more successful trip. SpaceX and its CEO have not been clear about what methods they would use when launching the Starship, and the possibilities are endless, as there are a lot of takes or maneuvers. Regardless, Musk rather cryptically says that SpaceX has considered the concept though he didn't elaborate on whether the company ultimately decided to drop the subject or pursue it further. Currently, nothing is confirmed by Musk or SpaceX about which launch tactic it would use. Starship as a telescope. In another tweet, Musk revealed something rather odd with the SpaceX Starship's purpose, as its body was initially purposed to clients to make it a telescope, which could stay extensively in space. Musk is also saying that it could also be used to bring astronomical observations into the 21st century. In a tweet, Musk suggested that the ship itself could serve as the structure for a new giant telescope with 10 times the resolution of NASA's Hubble, an indication that the billionaire still has plenty of big ideas left for the company's spacecraft. Hubble's successor? According to Musk, the idea of turning a Starship spacecraft into a massive space telescope was first suggested to him by Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory astrophysicist Saul Perlmuter. The CEO said that he initially discussed it with Saul Perlmuter, who was on board with the idea of turning it into something like the Hubble. The news comes after NASA's aging Hubble Space Telescope had to put its scientific investigations on pause last month due to a software glitch. NASA scientists are now desperately looking for a fix to get the telescope back on track. In a previous tweet, Musk elaborated on his plans for the Mars-bound rocket to act as a dedicated deep space variant that can be refueled in orbit could allow SpaceX to launch even heavier payloads to faraway destinations, including the Moon and Mars. At least parts of the physics community are already considering the possibilities offered by using Starship as a sort of foundation or spacecraft bus that could carry and operate vast scientific payloads. While Starship has already been officially floated several times as a serious contender for launch services for major future missions, this concept would instead see Starship function as the spacecraft itself. Rocket Performance a chart published by NASA's Launch Services program today compared the performance of various rockets. SpaceX's Falcon Heavy among them. According to the numbers, an expendable version of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, a heavy lift variant of the company's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket, is capable of sending over 26,000 pounds all the way to Mars. Starship, however, could increase that number almost tenfold if its development goes according to plan. SpaceX has plenty of work to do before the first Starship will go into orbit. 
let alone one that can turn itself into a giant telescope once there. Once established as a stable platform, like its Falcon 9 predecessor, Starship has an opportunity to push the boundaries of astronomy by continuing Hubble's legacy in orbit. As of 2021, Starship has yet to reach space or orbit once, but SpaceX isn't far from that milestone. Eventually, perhaps just a few years from now, Starship will have successfully launched to and operated in orbit dozens or even hundreds of times and become a mature and reliable spacecraft. At that point, it wouldn't be out of the question to entrust Starships themselves to serve as long-lasting scientific spacecraft, exploiting a bus that could offer abundant power, propulsion, thermal management, navigation, and communications capabilities to any hosted payloads. That includes extensively modifying Starships on the ground to create vast space observatories, among numerous other possibilities. Given Starship's low production cost, 9 meter, 30 feet, diameter, and nominal ability to deliver at least 100 metric tons, 220,000 pounds, of payload to low Earth orbit, LEO, it's not inconceivable that ships could be outfitted with massive telescopes and scientific instruments. Perhaps more importantly, drastically reduce payload constraints, more than an order of magnitude relative to the Hubble or James Webb telescopes, could allow major innovation in spacecraft design radically lowering costs, while still improving reliability, redundancy, and performance. SpaceX's Starship could carry the first astronauts to the surface of the Moon since the Apollo missions, clean up our planet's increasingly littered orbit, and perhaps even establish a city on Mars. Moreover, Musk said the Starship Transform Telescope can function 10 times better than what the Hubble outputs now. Elon Musk revealed new SpaceX cargo starships for U.S. military. SpaceX Starship is meant for great things. It is the first spacecraft that is rapidly reusable. Its principal hardware is not discarded in the sea or allowed to burn up. It can return to the ground, ready to be refueled and flown again. The Starship is destined to go into space, deeper than anyone has ever attempted. It will be used for man's return to the moon and the colonization of Mars. Its journey to Mars will make it the farthest journey by a crewed spaceship ever in space. Apart from transporting people, the Starship can be configured to play an essential role in space, the transportation of cargo. Elon Musk has just revealed the new cargo Starship. Even before civilization became widespread, humans had always needed to carry cargo. Global commerce wouldn't exist if there were no way to move freight or cargo from one part of the world to another. When cargo is moved to space, it is called payload, and it can vary in nature. Instruments and equipment for space science and experiments all fall into the category of space cargo. A quick example is SpaceX, which is launching satellites for the Starlink network. Those satellites count as cargo or payload. SpaceX has more than 2,000 Starlink satellites up there in space, and it won't stop until the approved 12,000 have been launched. Starlink satellites are not the only payload SpaceX delivers to space. It also delivers cargo to the International Space Station on behalf of NASA. Elon Musk is focusing on the cargo transport sector, and he plans to revolutionize it. Musk isn't planning to make cargo transport better just in space. He plans to do the same thing on Earth. His weapon of choice to make cargo transport more efficient than we can ever imagine is the not-so-secret Starship. The Starship is the answer, and probably the future, of cargo travel for extraterrestrial travel and on Earth. Starship for all NASA launches. Musk also replied to a chart about the missions that NASA has plotted for different spacecraft, saying that the Falcon 9 could be stretched to increase all of it. However, to take things up a notch, the billionaire said that the Starship could do it far better than the Falcon 9 as a reusable spacecraft. Let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment in the section below. Thanks!